Now, £28 million is to be invested into a research project in Manchester to try and find a cure for the illness lupus. Dina Campbell has been to meet Julie Morton from Cheshire, who's taking part in the study. It affects my skin, my muscles and joints. I have severe circulation problems and I have liver involvement. These are just some of the things that sum up Julie Morton's experience with lupus, a condition which sees her own immune system attacking her body. Some of its major symptoms are joint and muscle pain, extreme tiredness, rashes, headaches and depression. Despite suffering from many of the above issues, Julie has managed to find an employer who understands her condition. Before her diagnosis, she worked in a more pressured role. I found I couldn't concentrate and I, was, I just couldn't literally cope with the hours, the work. Um, I couldn't take on the responsibility. And it's not just her work life that's been affected. I've got some very, very good supportive friends, but I have lost some friends through it who think you're unreliable, think you're just making excuses. You can't keep pace with what they're doing, their activities, you can't do them so you don't get invited. Um, so you do lose out a little bit. From April this year, the National Institute for Health Research has granted £28.5 million for a new research centre in Manchester and lupus is one of its main focuses. I hear that many women from African backgrounds do actually or are more likely to get lupus. Is that true? Yes, that's absolutely true. And a lot of studies have demonstrated that over the years. In fact, we did a study in the northwest of England a few years ago where we looked at lupus in the kidney. We found that people from an African background were 20 times more likely to get lupus in their kidney than people from a white British background. I worry that people don't understand the fatigue caused by lupus. At present, there's no cure for lupus, but this research will help doctors understand the illness better and help the five million patients across the world, like Julie, to lead more full lives. Dina Campbell, BBC Northwest Tonight.